Hello guys, welcome back. My name's Morant. I'd like to apologise first. I haven't been on for two days. I've had a cold and I feel like rubbish. But, it's no excuse. I'm going to get on with the videos as much as I can. I've got a few videos coming out today, tomorrow and Saturday. And of course, Saturday's the prediction of the wildcard game and my reaction after the 49ers at Cowboys reaction as well. But, I'll shut up and get through this. Also, leave a comment down below telling me what you think of this video. So here we go. So as you can see, you couldn't make it up. So many head coaches, so many managers fired, and here is another two. So this one is the Giants fire head coach, Joe Judge, after two seasons. So let's read along. Uh, it says, uh, this is on NBCSports.com, the article. Uh, the New York Giants have reached a verdict on Joe Judge's future. The, the franchise fired the head coach after two seasons with the team. Uh, and it says... Uh, Steve and I both uh, believe it is the best interest of our franchise to move on in another direction, co-owner and team president John Maher said in a statement. We meet with Joe yesterday afternoon to discuss the state of the team. I meet again with Joe this afternoon and it was during that conversation I full Joe of our decision. We appreciate Joe's efforts on behalf of the organisation. I said before the season started that I wanted to feel good about the direction we were headed. Uh, when we played our last game of the season. Unfortunately, I can't make the statement, which is why we have made this decision. We'll hire a general manager, and that person will lead the effort to hire a new head coach. We did have a stinker this season, so hopefully they'll find a, a good one to replace. And, uh, yeah, this one as well. Houston Texans fire head coach David Cully after one season. So, let's read this. The Houston Texans fired head coach David Cully on Thursday after one season with the team NFL Network's Ian Rappaport, Mark Ruffalo and Tom Plesko reported per sources. Uh, an NFL assistant since 1994, the 66-year-old Cully got his first head coach, uh, coaching opportunity with the Texans in 2021, but at last just one campaign in which Houston finished 4-13. to Texans general manager Nick Carrasso, who was brought in during the 2021 offseason as well, we will now look for his second coach in as many seasons and the franchise third head coach over the last three seasons. Earlier today I met with David Cully and Tim Kelly to inform that we'll be moving on in a different direction at the head coach and offensive coordinator positions. Cassio said in a statement Thursday evening, I came to this difficult but necessary decision after reviewing our football operation. While change after one season is unsure, we had uh, uh, physiological differences over the long-term direction and vision of uh, for our program moving forward. We uh, appreciate Coach Kelly for helping us navigate through a difficult season, but it is my responsibility to, t to make decisions that I feel are best for the organisation. The search for next uh, next coach of the Houston Texans will begin immediately. <coughs> um, among the reasons Kelly was fired, I reported, was that he would not make changes to his offensive staff, including Kelly, who was fired on Thursday as well. Other changes are expected, uh, Rappaport added. Cardi's departure comes with a costly uh, costly event for the organisation. However, as uh, Plasco later reported that Houston owns its now former coach another $17 million over the next three years in all. Cardi will have uh, $22 million for one season of work uh, per Plasco. Uh, the dismissal of Cardi uh, follows that of Brian Fowles, who was fired Monday as the Miami, Miami Dolphins head coach with Cully and Flowers after being fired the Pittsburgh Steelers Mike Tomlin is currently the NFL's only back uh, only black head coach. Um, I'm not going to read it all but there is a lot but wow you know what I mean you couldn't make it up so what's that now seven six seven teams gone crazy and I'm still but it's it is what it is this is this is a business you need to win um, but Miami Dolphins Flowers, mate. He, he's the one you. I think we, you know, need to look out for. I think he's really good coach. He was starting to come in. Okay, so he didn't go off to the um, playoffs this year. He could have easily done it next year because he was he was doing really well. But hey, oh, is what it is. Uh, tell me what you think about them articles. Tell me what you think about the head coaching and managers. Where should they all go next? Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Uh, thank you very much as well for the 57 subscribers. Really fortunate. I appreciate you, uh, you guys subscribing. If you're new, subscribe. I've got a few videos coming out. Also, my prediction and my reaction after the game. I think I have got it off. 
because all my holidays now booked off and I've used it on my holiday and I'm trying to get Sunday off to watch the game and I don't think I can but I'm hoping to get someone to cover me so I can watch the game back home so we'll see what happens there but other than that thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video